Hi Leo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your 7 month vlog. I'm just kissing the cat. I'll <laughs> give you a kiss too. Anyway, uh, this is your 7 month vlog. I um, did make a yearly and the things have changed so much and unexpected things have happened and that's why I decided to make an update on the yearlies and there's only seven months left before 2021. So have a look if this reading resonates with you and compare it to the yearly. And you can also uh, uh, download it or come back to it whenever you wish and compare it to the uh, four weeklies or monthlies that have already been done. So here we go. I'm using the dog tarot and the cat tarot and the inspiration card of Wayne Dyer and the Lenamon and um, the show and tell cards and that is an I'll go into that a little bit more I know it's getting dusky so I'm going to do this not speedily just steadily um, and I'll try to adjust it I don't want to do videos it at night because then you don't see the beautiful true colors so, and I'm um, also using the uh, Romance Oracle deck. So that should take uh, cover everything. Um, and if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading, a personal reading, video or live and taped, then uh, just look in the description box below this video or have a look at this little circle just there. That will take you to the website and there you can see the different readings on offer. Please like and share the videos um, <coughs> and uh, please join us in the live sessions. I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday unless something comes in between. And I'll be going later tonight as well because it's Wednesday the 13th and 13th means fellowship, friendship. Okay. Um, I'm also doing these videos because showing you my gratitude and thanks for your loyal following. I know there are some of you that are still not uh, signed up. Please, please, please sign up and show your gratitude and thanks and show me that you appreciate it. I do get a beautiful reactions and you know, thank you for that my cyber angels and if you're new, please sign up and so that you'll be notified. Click on all when you click the bell. We're going to start off with June and in June you have the Five of Cups, the Five of Sea. Look at that shell spur squirting water in the eye of the dog. He, in other words, he's not seeing what is around him. He's just looking and focused on what is happening in front of him. So the shell is squirting water, so it's a wake-up call and it, there is an offer around you so make sure that you can see the offer my darlings okay make sure that you can see the offers that are around you get out of your head don't be depressed you can change the present and the future but see what you have and don't look at what you don't have see what is on offer there are more things on offer than you realize You've got the Empress and you've got 111 on the top of the card, Roman numerals. So that is like 11, ele uh, 11 1 or 111. So the angels are with you. They are giving you a sign by these Roman numerals. It's number 3 and it's the Empress. And it could be a Libra that will show you a sign. Because the Empress um, represents Libra. Okay, she also stands for fertility, birth of a child, birth of uh, a, a project. If you are too mature to uh, get pregnant, then you might become a grandmother or an aunt or a great aunt. Who knows? But it also stands for growth, blossoming and harvesting, as she's also known as Mother Earth. She nurtures the plants and the, and the animals and everything that's around her. That is n uh, nature. Look at the puppies or kittens playing beneath her. Okay. 
in July you have the Two of Wands. You are making plans for the future. Which road are you going to choose? It doesn't really matter because in the distance in the distance you can see that the paths cross again and go and a road continues on its own. You'll get there, but remember uh, do something in hurry, then you have to repent in leisure. You have the King of Wands. He knows what he wants and he goes for it. He's a man of passion, action, logic and creativity. He'll be creative into getting what he wants and he'll be quite logical about it. No BS. He won't take that either, like the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. They go for what they want, but they think about it before they come into action. They are strategically planning how to get what they want. That is their creativity. The uh, King of Wands is also Aries, so there could be Arian an Aryan around you or you might have uh, Aries in your chart and you might have an idea that you want to put out into practice you're planning look at this you're planning like the King of Wands and you're going to take action this will be in July or you might be making plans with a fire sign so I know that he represents Aries but don't exclude Leo or Sagittarius then you have the Ace of Sky. Something will become clear. Perhaps you might have new communications with somebody that you haven't spoken to for a while. Perhaps you might start a new study. You definitely have victory. If you're in a judicial situation, you'll have victory, you'll get what you deserve and so will the other. Or you might be meeting a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarian. Wow, and the Libra is there as well. Now you have the Page of Wands. There is news coming to you in August with regard to this Ace of Swords. Clarity will come and all some the truth will come out or justice will be done. And this could be delivered by a young fire sign, an Aryan a Leo or a Sagittarius. In September you have the fire puppy. You've got a lot of fire in your reading Leo and you are the air sign. So there could be, look you had the page of ones here and you've got the page of ones again. Gemini had a lot of double cards as well and now you're getting a double card. It's an amazing reading because you've got uh, three threes. Okay, so here you go. You've got the fire puppy. News is coming to you as well in September. If the news isn't arriving in August because it's mu it's holiday time, summer holidays usually, and everything is closed down, uh, then you might get news that it is delayed and you'll be getting news in September. It will be something to do with recognition because you've got the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles means that you've got recognition. It could also be that you're going to start a new study, advance your knowledge. It also could mean that you've been promoted because you weren't had an internship and you finish that and you'll get promotion, you'll get a job. And now I'm going to go a little bit skew with. Well, you're used to, to me. If you follow me, then you know that I do jump because I'm a typical Gemini. I jump from one thing to the next. But you've got a three here. You've got a three in the bang middle in the center and you've got a three at the end. So three, 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 that's an angel's number, okay? And three, three, three is a nine. So something is coming to an end. Where there is an end, there is a new beginning talking about an end in October there's an unexpected end this could be of a friendship this could be of a study this could be of anything when one door closes 20 doors will open Wow 
this is the tarot card the aim you didn't take a decision you didn't make a choice you've just been most probably stuck in making plans and you didn't come to into action and I don't know why in some cases you could be the king of fire like I said or you could have met the king of fire and you didn't get come into action now you, perhaps you were waiting uh, f to get clarity and to get the go ahead but news is coming but it could be delayed because we are in a situation and in June some things are already opening up in Holland where I live in Europe things are already opening up like hairdressers and uh, we can travel in public transport um, and uh, it will become law to wear masks in public transport from the 1st of June so it, it's all going to become gradual changes so perhaps it's not you that can come into action but you're preparing okay you're preparing you're thi logically thinking about things you're logically thinking about things but when you're ready you are going to go for it you might seek advice from a mature man or a father figure this could be a professional as well like a teacher a doctor um, a bookkeeper an advocate a lawyer anybody that works for municipalities or institutions as this is the Emperor and you've got a couple here because you've got the Empress three to four so you're going to improve you're going up the next level it could be that you're coupling up and the Emperor the Emperor um, is uh, Taurus the Emperor sorry the Emperor is Aries so there might be um, you might be coupling up either with a Libra or an Aries you've got a lot of fire so there's a lot of action uh, coming your way look at the lightning that is fire as well and fire around the tower you've got fire in July and you've got fire in August you've got fire in September October so it's going to be an active four to five months in November you have the C alpha male so that is uh, the king um, the king of cups and the king of cups is cancer so there could be a cancer around you this man is loving nurturing fun um, handsome sexy um, and passionate so there is definitely a lot of passion because the fire signs are passion as well but remember passion doesn't last so if you want this to be a long-lasting relationship it will be easier with fire because they will they're emotional and they're sensitive and don't forget don't forget other fire signs it could be a Scorpio or it could be a Pisces okay and they're also usually um, highly sensitive to the psychic and spiritual world they might be psychic it might be a psychic person or a person that's very intuitive that you are meeting well since you've got a uh, Libra since you've got um, air signs you've got the king of fire that is Aries then you've got all the fire signs because of the night then you've got the uh, Aries again because of the Emperor and you've got the King of Sea which is Cancer again all the fire signs and you have competition because the five of ones a lot of readers say it is disagreements or arguments but I think the uh, arguments and disagreements is the five of swords because these are youthful uh, kittens or one-year-old cats uh, usually you see young men in the traditional Ryan Waite deck uh, jossing uh, with jo uh, with sticks joisting with sticks uh, pretending they are fighting they're learning to protect themselves okay 
it's competition and also in the Archangel power deck uh, you see that there is a chessboard it's a game they are joist jousting joisting sorry if I say it wrongly so um, perhaps there is competition between all different zodiac signs there will be more than one choice you know the cards aren't sexist it could be a man with a female side to him a nurturing side uh, um, a, a, a person that loves to look good and feel good so he nurtures himself to make him also attractive to you or a lady vice versa if you're a querent that is a lady uh, or then it is vice versa and the same when you're a man as the querent watching this reading in December um, we have the world the world is your oyster you hold the world in your hands you've got choices and usually it's represented with a wheel right the world the atlas but in this deck it is the two pillars and that is the number 11 the angel number the angels are showing you a new beginning step through that doorway don't be scared Leo you <laughs> what goes round comes round what goes up must come down you might go up in relationship or in your career or work up to the next level you might get a promotion you might get engaged or getting married if you're engaged you might be going to live together as this card also stands for moving home or going on holiday you might even go to the mountains or to Scotland I'm s I don't know why but I um, lander something lander there's a, a series called the lander lander East lander um, and I got Scotland in my brain I don't know why but you definitely are the champion he's wearing a wreath of the champion so victory is yours and to top it all you've got the three of pentacles look at the cats playing with the vines the three of cups celebrations so if you're getting married or if you are moving in together big celebrations like I said the world is your oyster now you've got again you've got the three of earth where did I see that here you are the three of Pentacles the overall energy now you've got four threes three 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 you've got big time recognition so go for it accept that recognition and underneath this card you've got the king of Pentacles so everything you're going to touch is going to turn to gold but you have to be patient like this cat think logically about it make your plans and take action to top it all you have the page of swords there will be messages throughout the rest of the year text messages emails telephone calls something will become clear to you it could be delivered by a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarian, a young person. Okay, now I'm going to the inspiration deck and the inspiration deck is ask for God's help. And if you don't believe in God, ask for the cosmos or the divine and the angels, their help. It's all the same energy. In the private quiet prayerful moments, when you ask for divine assistance you need not beseech God to help defeat others in any way instead you might pray like this dear universe make me an instrument of thy love I want to be like you I have forgiven them and I have forgiven myself you don't have to beseech God you don't have to approach God or the universe to ask to defeat others let them be in their own worth be 
they're your own example if you want to be an instrument from the universe or the angels you've got 31 the sun the most positive card in the Len Lenaman again moving up a next level birth hearing of a birth of a child of a new project a, a new job promotion you're in the spotlight you need more information with regards to something okay it's going to be something for long term and um, with durability could be a relationship could be a career great stuff a Leo could be interested in you now this is the card that I said I would um, go a little bit more into it show and tell this person made this as a card game for the family um, so to tell what was on their mind or their interpretation of each card and that's how they broke the ice so that's why CEOs uh, managers, manageresses, um, psychologists, uh, psychiatrists, um, evaluators use these cards. There's about 52 of them. Now what does this picture say to you? Take a, screen, uh, a, a, screen, a screen print and download it, cut it down to size and think about it when you meditate or contemplate. What does this picture do to you? Does it mean that you're scared? Okay, can you swim? Are you scared of drowning? Don't you like being one of the team? Are you the one at the helm? Are you the boss? What does this picture say to you? Does it mean to you go with the flow? let it ride let it rip I love that card and I thought that would be an interesting card to put into the reading although it's not a, a, an oracle card or a, a Lenormon card or a tarot card it just goes to show that all cards go with together you know and together you come to coming together means co being strong yeah and what does it mean? Perhaps it, motor, you, it shows you that you can also use postcards. So if you do go on holiday, start uh, collecting postcards. And you can do your own reading. Play your own game in, on a rainy day. Then for your romance card, we've got passion. Well, you've got a lot of fire in here, like I said. So allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. There will be passion. There's loads of passion for you. There's passion. Uh, let's have a look. Aries. King of Wands. All three fire signs. S uh, again, Wands. Wands. All three signs. Fire signs. Air signs. Um, fire sign there's also four pentacle cards four threes so again four times three is twelve and twelve divided by three is four so three and four is definitely a number so you've got three here three there uh, four here three there now uh, so that is quite significant. Aries is also number four, the four, fourth month in the year. Okay, let's have a look. Gemini is the third house or the third house in the zodiac. Um, and you've got Aries is th the th first house yeah but the third month of the in the year then you've got the s eighth eight 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 that's August Leo and then you've got the 12th 
so 12 again appears yeah well I love playing with figures so I hope you've enjoyed this reading Leo take care and compare it to the yearly ones month for month I've only shorted it down and not so extensive so if you've got nothing to do and you want to catch up with um, the energies of what's going around each month look this back and look at the yearly and see what take the information out of it what has changed and what hasn't changed how what what can you use if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign I hope you enjoyed this take care good luck please share and like and stay safe and blessed see you in the life and if not in the next video ciao ciao